हेलो अब्रगान एंड वेलकम टू फॉरेंसिक एक्सट्रैक्ट एंड आज हम बात करते हैं प्रेगनेंसी एंड इट्स साइंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज़ ए प्रेगनेंसी इट इज द स्टेट ऑफ फीमेल व्हिच इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू इम्प्लांटेशन ऑफ फर्टिलाइज ओवम इन द यूट्राइन एंडोमेट्रियम एंड दैट इज अल्टीमेटली गिव राइज टू ए फीटस सो प्रेगनेंसी इज बेसिकली ए कंडीशन ऑफ हैविंग डेवलपिंग एम्ब्रियो और फीटस इन द फीमेल that is after the fertilization of ovum by spermatozoan now the duration of pregnancy the average duration is 280 days maximum duration is 354 and minimum duration is 180 days zygote is the fertilized ovum and what is embryo embryo it is the uh, embryo which is uh, known as after implantation up to the 8 weeks and fetus is after 8 weeks it is known as fetus now what is the viable age or viability viability means capability the physical capability to lead a separate life outside the body of mother and it it basically depends on many biological as well as the physiological factors and also the extrinsic factors okay so the earliest age at which the child is born alive and uh, the child is able to or physically capable to lead a separate life outside the body of mother is known as viability or the viable fetus so it is basically the capability of fetus to lead life after birth independently so average viable age is 2 10 days or 7 months or earliest viable age is 180 days or 6 months now there are various signs and symptoms of pregnancy so first is the presumptive sign then we will be having probable sign and third is the certain signs or positive signs so what are the presumptive signs presumptive signs uh, may aata hai first is the amenorrhea amenorrhea and second is the morning sickness is obviously seen in uh, pregnancy due to various hormonal changes various changes in breast like uh, sore breast with seen dark and larger nipple uh, is seen growing breast size is uh, uh, more and there is leaking of colostrum and discharge may be seen during the pregnancy multiple tubercles may be seen around the areola these are known as montgomery tubercles these are the enlarged sebaceous glands which are seen in pregnancy so these are the breast changes now there are various changes in vagina this is known as jacumer sign which is seen after 4 weeks so what is the jacumer sign it is the color of vaginal mucosa that changes from pink to violet okay as a result of venous obstruction this sign is also known as shadwick sign so this is the change in color of vaginal mucosa pigmentation of skin may be seen in pregnancy and that is known as uh, the melasma this is the pigmentation which is due to various hormonal changes although the the clear cut mechanism is still not known but it is may be due to the placental secretion of melanocyte stimulating hormone now various sympathetic disturbances are the, also there frequency of maturation is seen during the early uh, period of pregnancy there may be intestinal disturbances constipation may be seen appearance of linea nigra and stria gravidarum is also the sign of pregnancy there is a midline uh, discoloration this uh, this is known as linea nigra linea nigra it is due to hormonal changes due to increase estrogen and progesterone hormones during the pregnancy uh, there is a midline discoloration and because of abdominal uh, overstretching uh, overstretching because of enlargement of uterus there is damage to the underlying collagen and vascular changes and changes in the connective tissue that is responsible for formation of these uh, bluish purple striations these are known as stria gravidarum so these are various skin changes during pregnancy altered food choices is also related to the various hormonal changes now quickening may be seen the the moment of the fetal part uh, fetal parts can be uh, felt or can be uh, noticed by the mother in multi gravida between 16 to 18 uh, weeks and in prime gravida between 18 to 20 weeks that is known as quickening this is uh, the the phenomenon where the movement of fetal part can be felt by the mother so those were the presumptive sign now we are having probable sign 
that is the progressive enlargement of abdomen these are uh, this is the probable sign what happens uh, that uh, uterus is basically pelvic organ below the pubic symphysis at the, the duration of 14 weeks it is at this level outside the the pelvic brim and between 16 to 18 weeks it's between the umbilicus to pubic symphysis and at the age of 24 weeks it is at the level of umbilicus at 30 weeks it is between the gif sternum and umbilicus and at the age of 36 weeks it is at the level of gif sternum so uterine enlargement is responsible for enlargement of the abdomen this is the probable sign of pregnancy height of uterus like the uh, we, we we have just uh, checked it a softening of cervix of uterus that is known as the hagar sign that is seen between 7 to 10 weeks so how to check it just just insert uh, fingers uh, through the vagina and uh, fingers uh, from the lower uh, abdominal wall and uh, you can feel the soft uh, part of the the uh, lower uterine segment or the cervix so this is uh, the hagar sign intermittent uterine contractions can be seen uh, can be felt between four to eight weeks and uh, these are the uh, intermittent uterine contraction that can be felt by the mother there is uh, one more sign that is known as Goodell sign it is positive at about four months it is the case of extreme softening of cervix and there is also bluish discoloration of cervix similar to vagina that is known as Goodell sign now sometimes there is soft blowing murmur can be uh, seen uh, which is uh, synchronous with the mother's pulse and it is usually seen at the end of fourth month so that is known as uh, this this uh, um, soft blowing murmur is known as uterine shuffle it can be heard uh, at the end of fourth month now the ballotment test ballotment test is the something which is tossing uh, about the uh, in, into the the uterine cavity because of uh, the abdominal uh, uh, the uh, because of the amniotic fluid so you can simply you know, move or simply tap the uh, the uh, lower end of the uterus then it will toss about like this or you can simply do uh, something like this this is known as external development and this is the simply known as tossing about of the uh, fetus enlarging fetus inside the amniotic cavity and this phenomenon is known as bellotment. Again there is a uh, softening of cervix and bluish discoloration of cervix that we have just uh, discussed that is known as Goodell sign. Bellotment test and uh, everything is done. So this is uh, these are the probable signs of pregnancy. Now there are certain signs or the positive signs of pregnancy. Surety is more basically to diagnose the pregnancy. Fetal movements can be felt at about uh, 20th week of uh, the pregnancy. Auscultation of fetal heart sound uh, can be uh, uh, between 18 to 20 weeks and the average, uh, the, the rate is between 120 to 160 beats per minute. Obviously, fetal part can be felt and this is also shows that uh, the pregnancy is certain. USG can be uh, done at uh, six weeks by uh, diagnosing the various uh, fetal parts or the growing fetus. Radiology can be done, but uh, in, in, in initial periods of the pregnancy, it can be dangerous for the fetus as well as the mother. So after third months, it can be done. MR scan or other radiological investigations are also shows the certainty of pregnancy. So the radiological findings can be uh, uh, done and uh, various growing bones skull bones and various uh, uh, the fetal bones can be seen vertebral column can be seen uh, and, and the ribs uh, markings are also visible that shows that fetus is growing inside the uterus now the ultrasound uh, can be done and it, it also the certain sign of pregnancy and it is also known as the positive sign of pregnancy in which the, uh, the fetal length, fetal weight can be estimated. Now one more that is the, the immunological tests in which the urine sampling pad is used. Urine is the most common sample that is used for immunological tests which is having impregnated anti antibody which is uh, labeled with the colloidal A and there is a test line and there is a control line. So this is the uh, estimation of the beta 
home and gonadotropin uh, gonadotropin hormone and antigen antibody test that is the urine pregnancy test it is also the positive sign although this sign can be uh, seen in various kind of other conditions also now what is the role but why this diagnosis of pregnancy is important in certain cases like if there is allegation of nullity of marriage then it is important pregnancy and divorce cases in case of inheritance of property and to get more alumni uh, as a woman may claim to be pregnant in case of divorce in various compensation cases like suppose in accidental death of husband damage to uh, for the pregnant wife uh, is uh, can be seen in in certain compensation cases in road traffic accident or all illegitimacy and posthumous baby in in certain cases the diagnosis of pregnancy is required posthumous baby is the baby which is born after the death of husband so this is the uh, uh, there is certain duration that if it is born uh, between the 28 days of uh, the death of the husband then this child is known as posthumous baby and that child is legitimate child leave facility for the pregnant woman is also related to the diagnosis of pregnancy now there are certain cases of unusual pregnancies like twin pregnancy or multiple pregnancy is also a case of an unusual pregnancy that has to be diagnosed super fecundity super fetation fetal papyracia or even pregnancy without the knowledge of pregnant women or pregnancy without real sexual intercourse can be seen so first is known as pseudo cysis or spurious pregnancy or false pregnancy or phantom pregnancy so what is this it is a condition where a woman shows most of the signs and symptoms of pregnancy like the enlargement of abdomen will be there weight gain will be there nausea morning sickness but actually she is not pregnant so this is known as the phantom pregnancy commonly subjects basically they suffers from some kind of psychic or hormonal disorders women believes that she is pregnant and maybe she may be having false labor pain at full term mostly seen in childless women or women uh, nearing the menopause so in childless women or nearing the uh, menopause because of some hormonal changes or maybe if the uh, women may be having some underlying psychiatric history now pathological conditions may be related that are responsible for enlargement of abdomen like pelvic or abdominal tumor may be there fat deposition around the abdomen is responsible for enlargement of abdomen and thus the condition which is known as pseudo cysis or spurious pregnancy now what is super fetation it is the fertilization of second ovum in a woman who is already pregnant this condition is known as super fetation so it's a type of twin pregnancy okay where there is a continuation of pregnancy by an ovum is uh, and and the second ovum is liberated in subsequent cycle which also gets fertilized followed by progressive development of both the fertilized ovum so this is known as super fetation now what is super fecundity it is the condition there is fertilization of two ova discharged from the ovary at the same menstrual cycle so this is the basic difference between super fetation and super fecundity what is the super fecundation is the fertilization of two or more ova from the same menstrual cycle by the, by the sperm from the same sexual act and super fetation it can occur where there are uh, two uteri okay or the uh, menstrual cycle continues through the pregnancy so the uh, age of the fetus may be same or maybe the difference between the two fetal age is very small but there is a uh, fertilization in different menstrual cycle that's why the age is not same at least one menstrual cycle difference between the age of growing fetus must be there in case of super fetation most uh, more possibility uh, than super fetation super fecundity is more uh, uh chances of super fecundity are there this condition of super fetation is extremely rare now something is known as fetal papyracia or compresses it is also a twin pregnancy in which one fetus may grow or develop more at the cost of another this is known as fetal papyracia or compresses the later fetus may eventually die or gets compressed or flattened gradually such a fetus is termed as fetal papyracia or compresses okay so one fetus the growing fetus is compressing the another fetus and that fetus turned into the the uh, papery thin like structure that is known as fetal papyracia or compresses so 